I, I have come to the conclusion that Muslims do not hold honesty as a value. Of course, we can't say truth because they'll say the Quran is truth. There's Jews who do this also, Christians who do it also, but I, I think it doesn't compare to how many times Muslims do this. They will exaggerate, they will, they will misrepresent, misquote, um, and they, they don't think they're doing anything wrong. I have no problem when I don't understand a verse of the Bible, I'll say, you got me. Okay, well, let's move on and focus on bigger issues, right? Like comparing religions from an ethical perspective. But these guys will, will die on that mountain and they're like, you know, I can prove to you Muhammad the prophet. I can prove to you that the Quran is perfect. I can, I can prove, prove. Whenever I hear religious people use the word proof, I already know I'm speaking to a fanatic. All yeah. religious people could do is give evidence for things. I could give evidence for God. They could give evidence for there not being a God. However, neither of us have actual proof. Now, you can have proof from a devotional perspective like God appears to you or Muhammad appears to them, right? But you can't expect other people to validate that. All we can really prove, people who have had their lives changed and sensitized by the Bible. That's what we can prove by by the presence of a good God in their lives. That's what we can prove. Yeah, totally. That it makes people better. In terms of, you know, proving God exists, that's, it's, I don't know. Yeah. It's got a dusk in the comments here. <laughs> he said, your language is made up from Arabic. No. What was the other one? Arabic? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. But You know, Maimonides says the only thing that makes Hebrew a holy language is that it's the only language that doesn't contain bad words in it. Now, truth be told, there's bad. Well, if you go to Israel nowadays, most curse words are Arabic. But there's words like, I don't know, like Benzona, or they'll say, Lech Azel, like go to hell. <laughs> you know, but I mean, it's... They're, they're words that are rooted in the Bible. They're, they're, I mean, it's supposed to be a holy language from that perspective. Kabbalah teaches something different. 